Hello everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about creating a shared VPC and VPC pairing in Google Cloud Platform. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. Shared VPC and uh, VPC network pairing. VPC pairing, the first one. What does this mean? So I have one VPC. We spoke about all those, right? We spoke about VPC and then here, a lot of subnetworks, subnet, region mm -hmm. one and a VM one. And here it's a subnet two, region two, VM two. These both talk to each other using private IP. That's what we had seen. Now, let's say I have another virtual private cloud also. Okay. It is possible, right? Probably your team is a probably a development team and then you have a QA team. They both wanted to have different virtual machines. They want to have a separation between the, you know, the resources which they use. So they wanted to have a different uh, VPCs. So here VPC2. So here subnet 1, region 1, VM 3. Here subnet 1, region 1, VM 4. Now if this VM2 wants to communicate to this VM3, it cannot happen with private IP address because these two are different VPC. But still, you want to maintain two different VPCs. But still you want the communication needs to happen privately. We need to do a pairing, VPC pairing. If you do that VPC pairing, that com communication can happen privately. Let's see a short demo. So I have here my VPC network. We already have one VPC, K21 my VPC one, which is US East one. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is one VPC. I'll create an another VPC network. K21 my VPC 2. Okay, I will have it a custom mode. Add a subnet. K21 my VPC. K21 my subnet VPC 2. Okay, I will keep the region as US central one, probably. I will keep a different region. IP address range, I will put like 10.16. Zero dot zero slash twenty four. Done. I'll keep all the firewall rules because that's not the intention now. And I'll create this VPC network. And I will also update the firewall rule for this also. And we'll get all the firewall rules. Or let me create a fresh one. No problem. Let's create a fresh. So my VPC two is getting created. Let me create an another A to one. My PC three. Let's turn create A to one. My subnet three. So regional US Central one we chose. So yeah, I will choose US East one. Ten dot seventeen. Mouse zero dot zero. Must be good. One while we bar five all those. Create. Okay, two VPCs. VPC hyphen two. VPC hyphen three. Two different regions. Okay. So let me first with this VPC2, I will create a virtual machine instance in the meantime. Okay, to one instance. My VPC2. US central one. That's correct. Let me refresh it. Let's put VPC another clip. Okay, to one instance. My VPC2. Okay. US central one. Then one series. On micro, advanced options, networking, here default, I'll choose my VPC2. Okay, this is the my one VPC, and I will create the virtual machine. And my VPC3 is also created. This is US East 1. Okay, let me create another virtual machine. A21, UCN1. One micro, come down, advanced options, networking. Where default, I'll choose my VPC3. Okay. It takes me copy this. It takes some time because we are using two different windows, right? So, US East one. One micro, networking. 
Okay, my submit with this is ten dot something. Okay, I'll create it. Okay, so we have created one instance in US Central One A with VPC two, and another instance in US East One with VPC three. These two are now in a different VPC altogether. Right. So let me get SSH into this. So now I am into this K two one instance my VPC two, and I'll try to ping my instance VPC three. This is in a different VPC. With private IP address ten dot seventeen dot zero dot two. Okay, now I don't get any response. Right, I I don't have any response. It it doesn't work with the private IP address. So different VPC, same VPC we got see it work. <coughs> different VPC that is where VPC peering comes in. Okay, so in VPC network peering. In the VPC network result, you have an option here. We need to create a connection. So the connection peering connection should happen in both the sides. I mean, like in case uh, you need to create a VPC peering from two to three, also three to two, both we need to do, and then only the peering will work. So now what I'm here, I am saying peering from VPC two to VPC three. So what is my VPC network? VPC two. This is my VPC network, and this is the current project. Same project, okay. And in that project, I am going to link it to VPC three. So from VPC two to VPC three. In case you can do across project also, it's possible. You can do that the same way how you had done, right? So from VPC two to VPC three. So this is my VPC network VPC two, and I am establishing a peering to VPC three. And click create. Okay, pairing from VPC two to VPC three. You can see here the status is inactive because only one side it happened. Right. Let me create an another connection. Pairing from VPC three to VPC two. So your VPC network is VPC three. The same project and two from three to two also create. So it has to be done in both the side, okay? And so normally, since we are doing this demo in a single project, right? It might look little odd. <laughs> Why we are doing? We are repeating. Mostly, if you do it in a two different projects, right? It will be good. Now you can see the status is changed to active, because when you create only one side, it was still inactive, right? The moment you create another side, also now the handshake happened. So one is like you said, my network is a VPC two, and my peer is VPC three. And my network is VPC three, peer is VPC two. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> let me go back to the virtual machines. Okay. Now, uh, let's go back and see VPC network. We have already uh, did these two, so both are active. So, go to SSH. Okay. Session is still active. Okay. So now I'll redo that. Ping. Ten dot seventeen dot zero dot two. Same internal IP address, right? Now I am. We are getting the response. So now with the internal IP address itself, we are getting reply because we did a peering. Yeah. So two different networks, but still you are able to access the machines using the private IP address itself. It is possible because you have the network peering enabled already. That is about VPC peering, and another concept called a shared VPC. What does this mean? Okay, let's go back to our uh, you know the example whatever we had spoken. There is an apartment, right? You are you are in one apartment, and let's say that in the same society you have brought your uh, brother's family or sister's family or your parents in another apartment. And let's imagine like all the firewall rules, or, or let's say like whatever the you know the the groceries whatever you purchase for you, or whatever the electricity connection the name everything is in your name, okay. Even though it is in a different uh, apartment, you are taking care of all the expenses and all the 
you know the the everything is in your name so that means the other apartment you are you are extended family there they are sharing your vpc so in such case for example i have a requirement that i have a vpc in one project let's say in another project also wanted a same kind of an uh, ip address range the same kind of a zone same subnet everything remains going to be the same right in that case firewall rules everything same so they and you both belong to your project and other project both belong to same organization in that case instead of creating two different vpcs we can create a vpc in one project and we can share it with the other project so rather than creating two vpcs and then do a peering and then do a connection we can share it so what what can happen is there is a one project which can be considered as a host project so from the host project you can say like which subnet that you are sharing okay and then in the second project the project 2 can inherit that subnet while creating a virtual machine so while creating a virtual machine this project 2 don't need to go and choose any vpc it can automatically you know uh, inherit that subnet works from a vpc which is in the another project yeah let's see a, a short demo on how that works so i have let me open a two projects here so i have okay one is a k21 pca backup project and another one is a k21 pca batch 2 okay so here in vpc network in the backup project i have two vpcs one is default and another one is my one custom vpc in k21 pca i have like around oh this is also changed to it one pc a batch to one project and backup project is another one here i have a lot of VP, uh, vpcs okay so for example my vpc 3 us east one now i wanted to share this my k21 my subnet vpc 3 to this project also yeah how that can be done go to shared vpc set up shared vpc so first we need to set up the shared vpc in a project which has to be a host right in this i am going to keep batch 2 k21 pca batch 2 as a host because this is having that my vpc 3 right and then i am going to give a permission for this project to access this so this is going to be my host project so click set up shared vpc it will say like this K21 PCA batch 2 will be considered as a post VPC. Yes, that is fine. They even continue. And here you can select the subnets, which are all the subnet hosts you want to to give access or you want to share it. Okay. So we are going for this one. My K21 my subnet VPC 3. This is the subnet which we are going to share it. Continue. And now to which project that we need to given access right and this is a k21 pca backup project so i choose k21 pca backup project click save so k21 pca batch 2 is a host project and we have shared in that we have shared this subnet k21 my subnet vpc3 to this project backup project right now if i go to this backup project i don't need to create any vpc okay because this vpc k21 my vpc3 is already shared to me here so i will go directly any virtual machine i am going to compute engine so create instance so i will keep instance one i will keep uh, us inst one that's a region n1 f1 micro come down to networking i am here we can see and here you build an option networks in this project are networks shared with me from the host project so if i select that networks shared with me and your shared subnet is vpc3 this is what you will get over here you can choose actually this is something this is also something which is shared before and this is the one which i shared now and i can choose it right so it will show you only those subnet networks which are shared with this project it will not show everything 
only those and you can select it and you can go and create a virtual machine yeah so we are actually skipping one big big step of vpc creation firewall creation and now all those things we are skipping because we have just shared the vpc from another project yeah so this is also an another uh, way so try to go back with the slides so shared vpc is what just we have seen multiple projects to a common vpc right so this model is mainly for you know you that's what i said you wanted to have a same kind of our policies across the projects we can go for it. right i have showed you how it is and network peering is also something which we have seen it allows internal address connectivity across two vpc networks regardless whether they belong to same project right or different projects so when it is useful mostly it has like several several network different different networks but that need to communicate using internal ip address several advantage one of the most thing is like your internal ip it, you can avoid using external ip and its network latency it will be more faster right because we had seen the google's private network connectivity how much investment they had made so it will be more faster security because it's a private connection yeah of course your cost also right because your traffic is within the i don't know in case if it is in the if you are using external ips if you if you go to the networking cost right in google they have different different networking cost particularly for using uh, external ip address there will be a different cost altogether now so you can go to this you can find a lot of cost if you use external ip address definitely the cost is more than using private ip address so vpc peering is like within across organization within project yes you can do shared vpc is something like is a centralized it's a centralized uh, model so you can create one vpc and then uh, use it by others our vpc peering is a decentralized that means two different vpcs or three different vpcs so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you we have our free class on google professional cloud architect certification and demo so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash gcp pro02 you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select an event date enter your name your email address your phone number and click on proceed ahead and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to save this link on the extreme right and add it to your calendars and i will see you in the free class till then keep learning